Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on logical operators and they're known as, this one is known as the, um, the short circuit and and the short circuit or. I'm going to go ahead and open up my website here www.javacjava.com and hit begin. We'll scroll down to the logical operators tutorial. Logical operators tutorial. So basically a double ampersand is equal to the and and a double pipe is equal to or. So in Java short circuit operators compare two or more logical expressions and return either true or false. This tutorial will cover the conditional AND operator and the conditional OR operator. The easiest way to explain how these two operators function is to go over a quick refresher on the IF statement. Um, so the IF statement structure, the most basic of the control, control flow statements is the IF statement. The IF statement evaluates a condition to determine if the result is either true or false. The conditional test is contained inside of the set of parentheses located directly after the Java keyword if. If the condition evaluates to be true, then the statements inside the code block are executed. The code block braces are optional for execution of just a single statement. So you've got if, and then you've got your conditional expression. If evaluates true, then basically statements are executed if condition about equals true. And I just threw this in here real quick. Conditional tests can be performed using one of the Java relational operators, such as equal to, greater than, greater than, or equal to, less than, less than, equal to, or not equal to. Okay? So let's talk about first the short circuit and operator. What if we want to change the flow of a program based on the results of more than just one control statement? Well, we could nest some if statements like this, right? We've got our integer data type, and we've got variables a initialized to 5, b initialized to 6, c initialized to 7. So um, if we wanted to get down to this line here, if c is greater than b, which that will return back true, then it'll go ahead and execute everything in this code block here, right? If b is greater than a, and that is true, it'll go ahead and execute everything in this code block. So it'll go ahead and print out system.out.println. Basically, call the print line method and print out um, the string literal here, c is greater than a and b. Now, there is a much better and cleaner way to do the exact same thing. And that is the conditional and operator, the short circuit version of it specifically. The short circuit AND operator is placed between two or more conditional expressions and will check the result of each expression from left to right. Now as long as the conditional expressions keep resulting to true, further conditional expressions will continue to be evaluated. If we make it to the end of the conditional expressions and all of them have evaluated to true, then the total result will, will return true and the code inside the code block will execute. Okay? So we have this up here, we'll do the exact same thing, just a little bit more clean and everything like that here. Same integer, um, we're initializing the same integers here. And now what we're doing is, um, you know, doing this little uh, conditional expression first. If C is greater than B, and I can close these in parentheses, and the parentheses are, are optional, uh, but it makes it way more readable in my opinion. So you know you're evaluating this, this evaluates to true, so that tells the conditional AND operator, the short circuit one, to go ahead and keep evaluating. Then it comes over to this next expression here, B is greater than A, and that equals true. So this whole entire thing will then return back true, and we'll go ahead and execute everything inside of the code block. And we'll call the print line method and pass it the string literal here, C is greater than A and B. Okay, let's throw some more into the equation and kind of build on that there. Um, now we've added uh, two more initializations and declarations, so we're um, initializing variable d to 8 and e to 9. And basically we're checking if e is greater than d, that'll return true, so the conditional operator and conditional operator will um, go ahead and evaluate the next statement. d is greater than c, that's true. The logical AND operator will continue to evaluate these as long as they evaluate out to true. And everything in this particular, um, all these expressions evaluate to true, so the total result is true, and we're going to go ahead and execute everything inside the code block. 
So this statement gets executed and we get to, uh, this string literal sent to the console here. E is greater than A, B, C, and D. Um, so why is the, uh, the AND, the short circuit AND operator, why is it called the short circuit AND operator? The short circuit comes into play when one of the conditional expressions evaluate to false. Any remaining conditional expressions will not be evaluated and the total result will return, tr will return false. So basically we have you know, the same declarations as we went over up here. And the first uh, expression here that we're evaluating right, is E equal to D. Uh, e is not equal to D. So this is going to return false here. The conditional operator is not going to execute this. It's going to basically fall out of there and nothing inside of this code block, it's going to return false, so nothing inside this code block will never pr will, will print. So um, basically, I think I said that right, nothing inside of the code block will print. I think I threw a never in there, but in the uh, code above, when Java evaluates a condition, conditional expression is E equal to D, the result is false. At that point, the uh, logical AND the short circuit AND operator will short circuit out of any remaining expressions that will not be evaluated. Hence, that's why they call it the short circuit and the result will be false. So let's talk about the short circuit OR operator, which is the double pipe. Uh, the double pipe operator is placed between two or more conditional expressions and will check the result of each expression from left to right. As long as the conditional expressions keep resulting to false, and though that's not a typo, as long as they keep resulting to false, further conditional expressions will continue to be evaluated. If we make it to the end of the condition, conditional expressions and all of them have evaluated to false, then the total result will return false. Okay? And that's critical to understand that. So, however, if just a single conditional expression evaluates to true, the double pipe operator, the short circuit or operator, will short circuit out and any remaining expressions will not be evaluated and the result will be true. Okay, so let's see if we can make that make a little better sense here with some code examples. So we got an int data type of variable name current temp Fahrenheit and we're initializing that to 75. We've got another int data type, max comfort, and we're initializing that to 85. That's kind of my max comfort zone. I, I'm, I'm happy with really anything up to 85. And then we've got a int data type of min comfort, which is short for minimum comfort. And I'm really happy at anything like 55 or above, so I'm all good on that. Okay, so now we've got our first conditional expression. If current temp Fahrenheit is less than max comfort, right, and current temp Fahrenheit is less than max comfort, so that is equal to true. Now we said, oh, if this, if this is equal to false, it would go ahead and keep evaluating. So when this, when it hits this right here, the short circuit or the or says, oh, we already have one of them that's true. Basically, the way this works is anything if any of these expressions equal true, one of them, that's all it takes, and then the whole entire thing returns back true. But it short circuits when it hits that particular one there, okay? So this will go ahead and say, okay, we're not even going to execute this particular conditional statement right here. Current temp Fahrenheit is greater than, is current temp Fahrenheit greater than or equal to min comfort plus plus. And I threw this min comfort plus plus in here to turn 54 into 55 if and only if this actually got executed. So this is a little proof of concept here that it does in fact short circuit right out of here and never evaluates this particular conditional expression. So this will hit this, it'll short circuit out, it'll go ahead and execute everything inside of this code block. It won't execute the else, obviously. So it'll go ahead and print this particular um, string letter, all the temperature outside is nice, and then it'll print um, the, this was not evaluated, right? And when we come down here to the code, we'll actually see it there. And then I've done this other line inside of here. Min comfort is still equal to, and then we'll display the result of what min comfort still is. Min comfort started off at 54. Um, if this had particular, if this had been executed, um, then min comfort would be 55. So let's go ahead and uh, take our code here. 
Let's do a control C highlight and then we'll control C to copy or you can right click and select copy. Let's move the browser off the screen. Start, search, type in CMD. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, type in start run CMD. Type in Java C, press enter, make sure all this stuff scrolls here. If it doesn't, go ahead and uh, go out of this tutorial and go to my installing the Java development kit tutorial. You'll need that installed properly for all these to work right. Type in CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash CD is short for change directory and backslash goes to the root. I'm gonna type in MD, uh, MD Java, which will make a Java folder. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. And CD Java. Uh, make directory and on this one we're going to call short circuit and or that sounds good and let's go ahead and train cd space s and then when i hit tab it'll go ahead and fill that in there and we'll change our directory and notepad short circuit and or dot java that's uh, going to be our source code file name, otherwise known as the compilation unit. We'll create that, hit Control V to paste. Let's go up here and save. So we've got our shortcut, short circuit and or class definition. We've got our main method, the entry point for this class. And we've got kind of some of the examples that I went over with already here, right? Um, I just did one in, one single statement declaration for all the ints rather than separate them up for the D and the E. So that's pretty simple, straightforward there. So if C is greater than B, C is seven, if it's just greater than six, that's gonna return true. So we'll continue evaluating it. And B is it greater than A, five, six is greater than five. So this whole entire thing is gonna return true. And we're gonna execute this particular everything in this code block, all statements in there, which just happens to be this print line method and passing that particular um, string literal. And then we'll print an outline and then we'll do the same thing here, you know, to show you, hey, if this is true and this is true and this is true and this is true, then go ahead and print that, right? And then we'll show you that uh, the next, next example of it, if E is equal to D, that'll return false. None of this stuff will even be evaluated. This will never even print, and this will print this to the console there, and then we'll print a line. And then here's kind of like my favorite little snippet of code here, the same thing we had talked about there, right? You'll actually get to see this, that the, um, the OR operator, the second that uh, you know, one of these equals, equals true, then it will go ahead and short circuit out and not execute any further conditional expressions there. So, and then we'll get to see what min comfort is, right? I think we all have a pretty good idea at this point what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, hit CLS, type in CLS to clear our screen. Java C, short circuit, and I hit tab there to pull all that up real quick there. Java and then SH, and I'm gonna hit tab, and then we'll go strip off that dot class, and then press enter, okay? So we've got um, pretty much exactly what we're looking for here. Um, obviously, a printed C is greater than A and B. E is greater than A, B, C, and D. And then it showed us that this particular line printed here, they were not evaluated. So the temperature outside is nice. Um, and then it says, basically, let's move this over here. The um, conditional expression current temperature Fahrenheit is greater than is it greater than or equal to min comfort plus plus was not evaluated and you can tell that for sure because min comfort is still equal to and then we display min comfort right and if and it's still showing 54 so because it was initialized at 54 if this had been executed then we would go ahead and um, it would go ahead and have added this one to it and change the number to 55 and we'd see 55 okay so we're gonna go ahead and close out of that, close out of this. Uh, most of the time I don't bother pulling this back over for my final thoughts, but today I am. But I'm gonna just be, just be sure to check out my tutorial on the non-short circuit logical operators, ampersand, which is the and, and a single pipe, which is the or. You'll need to know the subtle differences between the two versions. That way when you do run across, you know, a double ampersand um, short circuit operator and a single ampersand and 
non-short circuit and operator. And then of course, you know, your double pipe and your single pipe, which is uh, the, the operators for the short circuit or and the non-short circuit or. You will understand how the flow of the program will, will ultimately play out. It does make a big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and move that off screen again there. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.